So this is the size of the cable uh, trench calculation, civil foundation. So how they will lay? They will construct some big brickwork and they will take uh, this. So this cable trace we have to lay. So this cable trench, the 800 into 800 mm cable trench is suitable for accommodate three types of 300 mm cable trace. So how many cables will flow, uh, will, uh, will it carry? So that is the second, that is the first thing you have to, you are sizing the cable tray. You are sizing the cable tray based on the number of uh, cables that it carry. So after that, you are sizing the cable trench. So what, what we have to do now? We have to select the cable tray now. We have to select the cable tray. So then if, if I am setting the cable tray, then the width and the depth can we can do. Depends upon the flow of the cables, number of the volume of the cables. And now, suppose this is my 33 kV filter. Now here, say, let's see this. This cable, uh, this uh, seat, this breaker, cable should come to this trench. So it is nearly far from this trench, right? So if again, I am going, uh, that if I am forming a trench here also, up to this every uh, circuit, it's very costly as well. So I have to bring the cables directly pulling into the trench directly here. So for that, I am not constructing the trenches up to each and every equipment. So what I will do is I will place or I will uh, take, I will select some PVC pipes, conduits, where uh, acting as a support or sorry, uh, which are protecting the cables. So my design, I have also to size the conduit sizes where the cables are should carry. So what is the conduit required from the cave, from this breaker to the trench? So how many cables are coming in the breaker? So based on that, based on the other factors like jam ratio, everything, I am selecting the conduit, suppose a 20 mm conduit suitable for here, a 50 mm conduit suitable here. And you, so you can, after when you're doing this, you can see a, a 10 different types of conduits you have seen in the substrate. So if you want to say, if you want to uh, select only two sides, uh, two sizes. So based on the majority number of uh, occurrences, you can pick those and you can use the same conduits for all other, at all the places. So it's totally depends upon your requirement because instead of uh, purchasing 10 different types of conduits, they purchase only two different types of conduits and uh, use those, uh, the maximum and minimum, and you can use that uh, for all the places. So, here are the two things left. We have to size the cable tray and we have to size the conduit size. These are the two things we need to know. So when we complete this, then you will get, you can uh, size the cable trench as well as the conduits everything. Fine. Let's go through that. Kushan, is there anything? Just uh, I want to repeat the question what you mentioned. So this is one my incomer, and this is the uh, second incomer, and this is the third incomer. So I am having a few cables from this incomer. Let's see three cables, and uh, this incomer is having three cables, and this incomer is having the three cables. Now these all the coming coming and pulling to the some uh, cable trench. Suppose the uh, uh, let's see, uh, wait a minute. So this is the main cable trench uh, going uh, into this. So now I have, these are coming and uh, pulling here. All these cables are pulling here. So what is the uh, way to uh, run these cables? This is the question you are asking. Am I right? Is the question you are asking? So what is the best way to do this? Yes. So generally, for, 
number of cables, if the number of cables are increasing, definitely you cannot accommodate uh, within the same one. You have to go with a uh, the, uh, what the next one like a uh, design of this. Uh, I mean that uh, depth. You, you can increase the depth or in increase the weight. With sorry, with suppose if you are doing the depth and increasing the depth or increasing the weight, it's increase your what is it doing? It increases your civil cost. It's increase your civil cost. Now the second case. Now, if you don't want to increase the civil cost, then you are laying this cable side by side or one over the another. So it's now cal it's now derating your current. It's what's doing now, it's derating your current. So if the derated current, you have to go for a, a high cable compared to this. Not this sort is not suitable. You have to go for a, a big cable sizes. So these cable sizes will decrease your width of the uh, trench. So it's a cost comparison whether to go with a high cables uh, or increase my structure. So which fits you, which is a economical choice for you. Maybe if you are uh, maintaining that a good temperature at good temperature, this derating factor can be nullified with that uh, temperature factor. That might be a chances. So it may decrease your civil construction. Understood my point, what I am trying to convey. So it's a part like, a, it's depends on a derating condition. If you are laying the cables over the over, over the over, uh, like these cables are coming on, uh, on the top, these cables on the bottom. So you are directly all uh, merged, all you laid uh, on, one on or the other. So there is some derating on condition on this. So based on this, uh, it cannot carry the exact current. So you have to go for a higher square mm of the cable. May this higher square mm of cable will cost you suppose 1.5 crores. But in the civil, uh, you uh, decrease the civil cost to suppose 2 crores. So 0.5 is a profit for you, right? So you will go with this design only. So depends on that. Uh, it's a kind of optimization. So you have to very much, uh, you have to analyze this in a very accurate way when you are doing this. The derating conditions you have to check once and uh, twice. Yeah. Thanks. Fine. So comes to the uh, conduit size team and also this uh, cable tray size and we will conclude we will, uh, we will close uh, we will conclude the session today so it's a mathematical calculation nothing is much uh, here let's see calculate the size of the conduit uh, for following sizes i am having uh, suppose uh, from one equipment I am having five numbers of 3.54 50 square mm cable and each cable die is 28 mm. And also I'm having three numbers 3.54 cable, 185 square mm cable, where the diameter is 54 mm. Right? Now I am sizing the conduit for this. I mean a hume pipe or whatever maybe. So a percentage of full uh, percentage full fill up area of the conduit up to two cables, 53%. More than two numbers, 40%. Uh, forget about this thing. Uh, there is some uh, mistake here. Uh, forget about this. Up to two numbers, 53% is the fill up area. Up more than two numbers, 40% is only the fill up area to avoid the jam ratio. Means when I am pulling the uh, cable, it should not stuck with the other cable. So that's the fill up area should be 40%. So now the I am checking the area of the cable. Area of how I am calculating? By R square. So pi is 3.14 diameter by 2, which is the radius, whole to the power of square. So the 50 square mm cable uh, area is 615 square mm, right? So how many cables are there? Five. So five into this. So the total square mm required uh, for this cable is 30, uh, nearly uh, 30 zeros. 
And similarly for 180 by square mm cable, this is the case. I'm um, adding all and I found that 9944 square mm is the total area of the conductor required, right? Now I am selecting the, uh, suppose we select, I selected 150 mm diameter boom pipe or PVC pipe, whatever it may be. So 150 mm diameter hume pipe, the area is this, right? And what is the 40% of this? 7065. So the total number of cables by actual fill up area, 7065 will use you two. So if you want, if you, if you are willing to take 150 mm diapipe, take two numbers of 150 mm diapipe. Or if you are choosing one 300 mm diameter home pipe, one number is sufficient. So my result is either you can select two numbers of 150 mm hum pipe or one number of uh, one number of 300 mm dia conduit or hum pipe. So this is my selection. Got my point in? Understood? Simple. It's simple mathematical calculation. That's it. Nothing uh, concept much concept in this. So hum pipe for this to I required I required a one two numbers of 150 mm dia or one number of 300 mm dia. So now I am doing the cable tray sizing. Calculating the cable tray sizing, uh, which is uh, uh, which there are so many types of cable trays like ladder type, perforated type, pins, perforated. Uh, I mean, uh, suppose uh, this is the ladder type cable tray, a ladder type. Perforated is it's totally matured, like a mesh kind of thing will be there. Mesh kind of thing will be there. So this is perforated. So let's assume uh, I'm having, I'm, I'm selecting a cable tray. So the cable tray should be perforated and 20% should be there for my spare capacity. And I am maintaining a distance of the each cable is 10 mm and cable laying in a single layer in a cable tray. This is the single layer uh, i'm laying a single layer i mean that uh, cables the i am laying in a single way and the distance between the two cables should be 10 mm 10 mm now i am having two numbers of 3.54 300 square mm cables having a 59.7 mm outer diameter and the 59 5.9 kg per meter is the weight two numbers of 400 square mm cable and three numbers of 25 square mm cable. So I have to size the, what is the required cable tray for this. So now I'm doing the calculation. So I'm calculating the outer total outer diameter of all the cables passing in that cable tray. When diameter of the 300 square mm cable, number of cables into outer diameter, which is 119.4 mm. And the diameter of the 400 square mm cable is 130, 137. And the diameter of the 25 square mm cable is 24. So the total diameter of the cable tray, cables laying in the tray is 340.6 mm. The total diameter of the cable is 340.6 mm. And I am calculating the weight. Uh, when I am coming to the weight, I found the total weight of the cables laying in the tray is 25.5 kg per meter. Okay, now what is the total width of all the cables? Uh, I'm calculating the width of the cables that total number of cables in the distance between each cable plus cable outer diameter. So this I got from the here, right? 340 that plus number of cables into what is the distance I maintained? 10. So now the width of the cable I required is 410. And again, the condition I placed a 20% spare so 20% square, uh, so my total width of the cable required is 493 mm. And so what is the area is required? What is the area? Width into height of the cable, right? So width into height, which gives you this. And square, so the area required is 33,801 square mm. Now, in the case one, I am selecting the 300 into 100 mm cable tray. Uh, where it can withstand 120 kg per meter weight. Now the area of the cable tray is width of the cable tray into height of the cable tray is 30,000 square mm. Now I'm checking the width, depth and the weight. Width, 
the calculating the width of the cable tray number of the layers 1 into 1 into width 493 mm and the depth of the cable tray number of the layer of the cable and the maximum diameter of the cable 68.6 and weight 25 kg per mm. the calculated width of the cable tray 493 mm is greater than the actual cable tray width which is 300 mm this is 300 mm only the cable tray but my actual required is 493 mm so it is not suitable coming to the calculate depth of the cable tray 68.6 here it is 100 so it is sufficient 25.5 kg my, here i selected is 120 kg per meter this is also selected this is also fine but i am not suitable for 300 so i am going with the next option where is 600 into 100 mm here i can see uh, 600 into 100 mm is the uh, cable tray is suitable to uh, carry these three numbers of 350 square three numbers of 300 square mm uh, four two numbers of 300 square mm two numbers of 400 square mm and three numbers of 25 square mm cables a simple calculation please. that's it a uh, mathematical calculation understood team so based on this i am calculating the cable tray a bit so from this what is the cable tray with 600 into 100 mm right so i required a 600 mm cable tray and it is a perforated cable tray so it will be like this so all will go inside this. so what is this one this is 100 right 100 mm and what is the distance to be maintained here 300 mm and again suppose if i am having one more tray and again 300 mm one more tray depends upon the number of cables on top 100 mm 100 mm so uh, here 500 mm so one meter into one meter is your cable width and cable tray depth required this you are giving the information to the civil team so they will construct them yes if you are uh, doing the trifoil formation laying in the cable same let's see here these are all 3.5 score mm cables so here you can see the uh, trifoil formation right but let's assume these all are single core cables then what will happen you have to select in a trifoil formation right trifoil this is a one one cable and this is the one cable so now two cables have happened this is the a trifoil formation and similarly for this and for this right so in the trifoil formation what is the uh, here is you, the width you are calculating this way now the matter which comes with the height this height now this cable this cable on the top you are laying one more cable or you are laying cable so now what will happen so if you come to this part here here number of the cables i am checking the depth right so the number of layers of the cables into maximum diameter so 68.6 into 2 will come because one cable is on the top right so it into 2 will come so depth will matter with this also works because two cables now but the depth is the main thing here so based on this it will change this one change in the trifoil so this is about the cable trays and uh, cable uh, conduit sizings and accordingly we are uh, we will uh, give the uh, this uh, design to the civil department so accordingly the civil department will design the cable trench uh, based on this uh, uh, parameters what we provided the width i required and the depth we required